What's up, room? What's going on? Is it Poggy? Poggy? Poggy bait? What's going on, Mike? Didn't know you tuned into these, my brother. I'm glad you did. Maybe you were just on Facebook and saw that we went live. Let me get my face in here. What is up, guys? I am stoked for today's show. Like... I can't believe we keep doing this week after week after week. Honestly, I didn't know this would be sustainable. I didn't know if you'd be able to do one every week when I first started, but you know, I just went for it, and uh, he here we go. Like every week, some cool stuff in here. What's up, Craig? I got some of your mints in here to show off. You definitely brought me something minty today. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh jokes that's like a dad joke so I went live a little bit early got about one more minute I haven't even been aimed for affiliate yet so like I was hoping to get in like a PS5 and I was gonna give it away for free if I get enough viewers on this show uh, to get me to affiliate but uh, I hope so I've got whatever the next stage up is. It's not affiliate, but I guess one one under that. But uh, as soon as we hit 7 o'clock, um, I did get another trade of pop figures in. It's nowhere close to the amount that we got in last time. So I am going to do the pop figures first so I can get them out of my way. And then concentrate on uh, these games and figures and other things that I got in. Get some, some awesome, awesome stuff this week. Like, I'm super excited. There needs to be more than three people in here. Like, of course, it's not 7 o'clock yet, so... What's up, Stratton? There's more than three in here, it's just, uh... Streamlabs hasn't caught up the count yet. So, got a good show for you guys today. So, let me go over a couple things that are not gonna be on the show while we're waiting for everyone to get in here, and the fact that it's 7 o'clock and we just started. So, at the very end of the day, we took in an N64... Um, it works. I just wasn't able to get it all bundled up and in the box. Took in a Dreamcast today. I've got to clean it, but it works. Hey, Tom. Um, what else did I take? An original Xbox came in today. So OG Xbox, N64, and Dreamcast all came in today. Um, so I, the Dreamcast needs some cleaning. It's a little bit ugly. And I got to match a controller with it. The controller that came in was broken. So I will have that uh, within a day or so. Uh, probably tomorrow tomorrow we got a lot to do tomorrow we're doing a lot up at the store so in case you didn't know i've been in the midst of repricing the entire store from left to right i started in the wii gamecube section and i'm working my way over um i tried to get through some xbox today but we were slammed busy at the store um i'm gonna get up there early tomorrow get some work in before we open and then i'll have cat and ben both there tomorrow so that'll give me some free time to uh get some like work done so, but without further ado, let's get into some of these pop figures real quick. Um, there's one ultra rare pop in here. When I say ultra rare, it goes for about $300, which to me is insane for a pop figure. Um, but to each their own. If somebody wants a $300 pop figure, I'll sell you a $300 pop figure. It's trade day. So those of you guys on Facebook, I appreciate it so much. If you don't mind, hit a like and share button. Share helps the most. Uh, my Twitch viewers, um, you already follow, so that's great. Um, I'm not going to ask for subs. If you want to sub, by all means, great. If you don't use your free Amazon Prime sub, send that my way. It is appreciated. Um, but let's get into these. So I got in another Joker from Suicide Squad. This one is him in the tuxedo. And actually, some place pop figures have been selling, so I'm really glad that we bought these. I uh, got one called the Lying Cat. I'm not familiar with that one. It looks familiar, but I'm not familiar too much with it. Prince Robot 4. It looks cool, but not in my wheelhouse. Uh, I'll save this one for all the other Star Wars ones. There's another Joker. Uh, he's in a tuxedo, but in this one, he's holding a grenade in his right hand. Appreciate that. What's up, Bob? Hey, Dynasty. Appreciate y'all coming out. Seeing some of my regulars in here. Uh, got in, uh, looks like a previews exclusive, uh, Constantine. That's weird, I can't hear I can't hear the sound from the stream. I can't hear that coming up, which is odd. You know what? I think I know why. Haha, -ha, that is why. Now I'll be able to hear your stream sounds. Uh 
Um, oh, no, we'll do that with all the Spider-Man ones. Uh, Metallica, Lady Justice. This thing just looks cool. Like, just like a stone blind lady holding her balance. Like, you know, sword and all that stuff. Justice. Uh, got in a Stephen King. For the Stephen King fans out there. Guess that kind of looks like him. Um, Got in... I'll do that one with the other ones. I got in a bunch of Star Wars pops. These are these are cool looking. So, a Rack Knight. So it's like him in like a I don't know a white hooded. I don't think it's a knight outfit. I mean, it looks like more like Assassin's Creed than anything. But anyways, <clears throat> I got in another Spider Punk. We actually had one of these the other week, but it's got that Spider Man guitar in there. Um, Deadpool the Duck. I don't know how this got in my Spider-Man section, but that's probably because of this color. Deadpool the Duck. I guess Howard the Duck and Deadpool mixed. Uh, Six-Arm Spider-Man. That one's really cool. I remember watching that happen in the cartoon. When he started growing all the extra arms, freaking out about it. And then we got in Spider-Ham. I'd call it a Spider-Pig. Spider-Pig? Spider-Pig. So, those are cool. Uh, got in a Spider-Man Noir. And another Spider-Man Noir that was a Walgreens exclusive. So if you like your Spider-Man in black costumes, I'll have these pop figures up there. Um, got in a small version of the child. I have the gigantic version of this one. They haven't named it Grogu yet, so it still says the child. I don't know if that's ever going to matter. Um, it's also with a Mandalorian. We also got the child eating the egg, the egg canister. If you watch The Mandalorian, this uh, this had people freaking out, man. They were getting mad that this uh, little animal was eating creatures. But uh, he's a carnivore, and he's probably like 100 years old, so or at least 60. He's not an actual baby. Um, we got Mandalorian on the – how do you pronounce this thing? Blurg? Blurg? Blurg. Uh, there is a difference between the two Spider-Man Noirs. Um, I'm glad you asked. Easiest way to tell is on the top. So, one of them he's wearing a hat, and one of them he is not. That's the only difference. So, I mean, it's really hard to tell like this. Like, if I mixed him up and showed you like this, I mean, besides his hat on that one. Um, just looking at the figures. Uh, but yeah, that's the only difference, is one he's got a hat. And a few more pops. We're almost through. Uh, we got a Spider-Man I guess, in a paper bag. I guess that's his bombastic bag. And a Fantastic Four outfit. That's throwing me off. I don't know why this is Spider-Man with a brown paper bag over his head in a Fantastic Four outfit. But hey, Walgreens exclusive. And then we also had the Mandalorian and the Child on the Bantha. That one's a little bit bigger than most. But really cool pop figure. And if you are a pop collector, here's where it gets interesting for the day. So we have these in here called Moon Knight. I am not personally familiar with who Moon Knight really is. Um, looks like it comes... I mean, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Doctor Octopus... Yeah, see, I, I don't see. I love Spider-Man, and I, I didn't, I didn't know that. So Moon Knight. There's this one, which is the Walgreens exclusive. There was this one that you could only get at the LA Comic Con, which you know the Comic Con only pops go for a lot. Um, but this one, the Moon Knight LA Comic exclusive that glows in the dark. This is in a hard plastic case because this is the $300 pop. Um. Again, exclusive to to the LA Comic LA Comic Con. Um, so yeah, if you are looking for rare pops, that one is uh, super rare. That's gonna be in the rare case, not with all the other pop figures. So that is it when it comes to pop. If you don't like those, thanks for bearing with me through it. Um, now let's get into like. 
my favorite stuff. So I've got some amazing games in here. I've got some cool stuff traded in from, not traded in, uh, brought in from my toy company. Distributor, not my toy company, a distributor that I buy things from. Let me say that properly. I've um, got a, some cool things in from them, um, and I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over the toys first, and then we'll get into the games. So, got in a really cool Star Wars Mandalorian Monopoly. I got three copies of this in. Um, this one happens to come with a retro collector figure. I believe it's like a stormtrooper. Um, looked like when I saw it online, it looked like it was in like one of the Kenner packages, um, like the old school one. But uh, here's a little view at the back of it. So, whole Star Wars Monopoly. If you're into that sort of thing, uh, that's pretty cool. I saw some really cool Monopoly collections. Um, the last I saw, I think it was going for right about 100 bucks. It's either 100 bucks or 90 right around there. Make sure we keep that okay. Um, so, my buddy knows I love some Zelda stuff. And brought me two boxes of these. This is the one I'm keeping. I got one at the store. But I got a whole box of some Ocarina of Time Zelda mints. Probably bust those out and just have them available on the counter. Thank you, Craig. Craig's an awesome guy. Speaking of awesome guys, there's Vincent. What's up, Vincent? Um, another cool Zelda item I got in is this huge Majora's Mask. This thing is so colorful and so sweet. Um, I'm glad I got more than one because I didn't know it was going to be this large. I guess I should have looked at the size. Um, but, ah, oh, man, this thing is cool. So my Zelda fans, Majora's Mask. This is from First Four Figures as well. They make quality, quality stuff. I know because some of my Zelda figures up there, the two in the boxes with the windows, are both first four figures, and those are good. Uh, Vincent, you'd miss a lot. I got a couple consoles in, and we went over pop figures first. So, unless you're into, like, crazy high-end pop figures, you didn't miss a too much. Mask wearable. No, no, it is not. That would be cool. Um, it does seem like it's uh, large enough. You know what? It's on a stand, so I really don't think it's wearable. No, it's... Maybe. Maybe. Wall mountable. So no, not wearable. It would tell me if it was wearable. It would say it. It's wall mountable, though. But that was a good question. Um, What else did I get in for toys? I know there's a couple more around here. So there's these. So I got in these things called fig pins. I see them always at Walmart, and I don't know why. I don't personally buy them, um, but I think they look so collectible and so cool, and sometimes I do want to buy a couple of them. But I got in, like, the Mandalorian. So these are, like, large enamel pins. And then I got in extra large enamel pins. We got in a Brawly, which, again, this guy, this guy's big. I don't know what I can... Like, here's a normal-sized pint glass. It's got tea in it. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, it's big. So, Brawly, I ordered quite a few of these. And then we also got in the Master Chief. So I stuck with the ones that were, like, video game-related. And, I mean, Dragon Ball is video games. But, I mean, yes, it's more anime. But they did make Dragon Ball video games. And we also got in the remake... Of the Star Wars Empire Slave One, um, things really cool. Comes with figures. Comes with um, 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 Han Solo and Carbonite. Uh, fits three and a quarter inch figures inside of that, just like the old one. Um, I don't know if I'm bringing these to the store yet. I am. I might have a plan for for certain toys like this, uh, but I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I'm getting in. It it um it is a release of the old one. Oh, yeah, I, that Master Chiefs, absolutely. I'm glad I got those. But so, in cancel culture, to my knowledge, they took away the name Slave One. So they're not allowed to call anything Slave anymore, which, you know, whatever, that's fine. Um, this might be the last thing that they named the Slave One printed on the box. Yes, yeah, so all of us fans, it always will be 
but this actually might be the last thing that gets it printed. And if it is, I'm going to kind of hold on. I got two of them in. I'm going to hold on and see if, like, that gets crazy with the prices. I want to start doing conventions, so I want to have some cool stuff like that to take if I do. Um, but I want to show you guys that I did get that in, and it was pretty cool. Um, I think that's it for the toys. Let's go on to games and systems. Forever. The slave one. Um, so today I got in a Game Boy Color. I had somebody on the list for this. I called them. They're going to come pick it up tomorrow. I just want to let you guys know we're still getting handhelds in. Uh, I do have available a Game Boy SP. Uh, this was pretty clean. Very light scratches on the front. Way less than I normally see. Obviously, see our stuff comes with charger. Tested and working. Um, so two more handhelds added to the store. I don't even know what to do last. I'm going to do the PS1 games last. Um, we got in an Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch today. It is mint and perfect in box. I'm not going to open it up. Take my word for it. Um, everything's in there. Tested good. Um, I probably could have tested the Joy-Cons a little bit more. Um, but being so new, probably shouldn't have any problems. If anyone does, let me know. Uh, and the SP is $79.99. It is the 001 model. Let's start with the small games. We're going to do games smallest to largest. That's what I'm going to do today. Um, I knew you wanted that Switch. Um, you get a better price than anybody else on here. So ask me, call me, or text me and ask me. And if y'all want to know why she gets a better price than all of you guys is, that's because that's my daughter. Uh, retail, it's, uh, we're doing it at 289 They do retail 300 You have a Switch. Did you forget you had a Switch, Evan? So, uh, Brooke, I knew you wanted that one. Um, I have to talk to your mom about it. I already did Pops Potato. You missed some cool ones. I'll show you the crazy one. I did do Pops. But if you go and just, uh, watch the video on Twitch when we're done, you'll be able to see the Pop figures that we did. But this one's crazy, that's why it's still sitting here. But I did go through them. Oh, the PS1 games. I'll oh, just wait till I get to the PS1 games. I'm doing those last. They're so good. Oh, my God. All right. Um, so we're going to go smallest games to larger games. Uh, Metroid Hunters is the smallest one I've gotten in today. You sent me a message through Twitch. I don't know if I'll get those. I'm a little bit late on those. I'll look. I'll try to remember. I'm going to make a note right here. Check Twitch messages. I'm going to sound like an idiot, but literally I uh, I didn't even know there was Twitch messages until the other day until I saw one. 9.99, Vincent. Got in a couple of good GBA games. Got in the classic series Bomberman. Thank you, Julio, for the like. Uh, the NES classic series Donkey Kong. And Advance Wars 1 and 2. Uh, sold. I got it. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't have my list in front of me. Where's my list? Oh, well. I'll write on this piece of paper, then I'll go find my list. Vincent Metroid Hunters. I got you, my dude. We did Advance Wars already. Also got in Fall of the Foot Clan on the Game Boy, and Star Wars Episode One Obi Wan's Adventures on the Game Boy Color. It's a good amount of Star Wars. Oh yeah, I loved both of those back in the day. Absolutely. All right, what's next is smallest. N64 is smallest. So pretty good N64 games. Start a little bit light, and then we'll get heavy. Uh, got in a copy of Hexen. Uh, has a little bit of label damage behind the sticker. I'll let you guys know. Got in Quest 64. Super Mario 64. Which, if you see it today, it's more than likely not going to be there tomorrow. It's just one of those games. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Followed by Mario Kart. 
and also Banjo Tooie. I got some really cool hard cases in today, like the hard cases for the N64 games, but um, they have Banjo Tooie and Banjo Kazooie characters like etched into them. They're I'm gonna get a Banjo Kazooie, and this Tooie I think is gonna go in the other one. Like this little skull guy is literally like in red etched into it. Uh, Mario Kart is 39.99. And I just checked all the prices today, so everything should be pretty spot on. So, Super Nintendo looks like the next size game. Oh, my monitor just blacked out on me. I can't see you guys. You can see me. It'll come back. If not, I'll move it to my other one. My monitor's starting to go out on me. Oh, no. There it goes. It came back. That was scary. I'm going to move this to the other screen in case that happens again. So now you'll see me looking at a different angle. All right, SNES. There's only a couple. Um, a good clean copy of Super Mario World. Oh, I can't do this on this side. I just can't. Uh, Super R-Type. I get this lighting better. It's these plastic. Uh, a Mega Man X. It's got an ugly label, but it's Mega Man X nonetheless. I guess somebody grabbed that label when they started ripping it. They just didn't stop. And Tetris Attack. So, nothing crazy fire on the Super Nintendo this week, but a few mentionables. Um, I do have some pretty decent NES games. So, we got in a Castlevania Simon's Quest, Castlevania 2. Uh, one of my old favorites on the NES, DuckTales. Maniac Mansion. Dragon Spirit. This one I never played. Anyone play this? It's called Deja Vu. I missed that one in my games as a kid. I don't know if it was any good. I might have to look up the video. And I like the I like the artwork, how he's holding the picture. Kind of reminds me of the movie Memento. Uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Boy, when I saw this in that guy's trade box, I was looking for a number two on it. I was hoping to get a Chippendale 2. Um, but, you know, one's good. Fun game still. Uh, Dragon Warrior. I love the DuckTales game. I even played the remastered. Got in the gray cart of Zelda. So a lot of people think the gold cart is the hard one to find because most NES games come in gray. But the gray Zelda cart is actually the more rare, the less made than the gold one. Got in a game called Quantum Fighter. This is also another one that I missed, but it seems like a good one considering its price point. And Turtles 3 Manhattan Project, one of my favorite games to play on the NES. It's the first time Leonardo could actually stab something. I mean, he's got a sword. Like, come on. All right. One copy for the Sega. We got in Beauty and the Beast, Bell's Quest in the box. It feels light, so I don't think a manual is in here. Nope. So, people like Disney games. It'll sell. All right. So you know we always have that random stack that's got a few games in it. There's mostly Wii U in here, um, but here's the games until the Wii U. Uh, Beauty and the Beast is 19.99. Got in a copy of Scarface. Fun fact, I've never seen the movie. Feel free to chastise me for it. Um, I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I've never seen it all the way through. Uh, but I do plan to to watch it. Got you, Stratton. Oh, I bet Scarface would be a fun game. Yep, that one sold quick. Yeah, like I said, Disney stuff sells. Uh, PS3, uh, Metal Gear Solid. It's a good one for the PS3. You don't see a lot of PS3 games on here because there's not a lot that are like crazy rare. Um, they're starting to get that way, but they're price-wise, but... Uh, I don't think we had 3DS games this week. Nope. Uh, Metal Gear is $24.99. So we also got in the Deluxe Edition of Avengers on the PS4. That was a good one to show off. And Five Nights at Freddy's. And also a Zelda Skyward Sword. 
I think we already have one of these up, but no, it's the other one. But yeah, Zelda Skyward Sword. My screen went black again. It's really starting to get annoying. All right, so Wii U got in how much for Five Nights at Freddy's is $34.99. And Potato, I've got that pop figure uh, put aside for you at the store as well. We normally will hold things from the stream. I'd say, I'd say I'll hold it for, for a little bit, a few days, at most a week. If you don't come get it in a week after you call dibs on it on the screen, it's going out on the shelf. Uh, maybe less. Uh, Wii games, yes. I got oh, um, Wii games. I only have the Zelda one, um, and I don't have Epic Mickey because I just repriced everything, and I had an Epic Mickey sticker and no Epic Mickey game. Um, I might have it loose, but I don't have one in the box. But I do got some really good Wii U titles. These are in no discernible order. I don't know if some are more expensive than the others. Right now, I'm just going to go through them. Super Smash Brothers Wii U. Uh, Zelda Wind Waker HD, Breath of the Wild, which I'm sure most of us have already beaten by now if we're into Zelda, uh, Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric, Super Mario Brothers U, if you really want to, like, hate your friends for a little bit, play four players and try to make it through the game, <laughs> Sonic Lost World, or with your kids, kids are really rough on that one too. I love the game. It's just that game is really hard to play four players. Um, is that is that it? All right. PS1 game time. I know y'all been waiting. I hope I don't disappoint. Like, there's some good stuff in here, but I, I hope I hope I didn't hype it too much and then disappoint. Yeah, let me, yeah, Evan, give me a call. I, I might have an epic making the loose section. So I got in all of these bar, I'll tell you when I get to it, all of these are super minty, except for one of them. Um, very, very minty. Um, all have manuals, all are complete, again, except for maybe that one. Uh, but first one we're going to start with is Final Fantasy IX, Black Label. I'm not going to open these, because uh, again, you're going to take my word for it that they're minty. I don't want any of the discs to fall out and get scratched. I like to keep them that way. Uh, manuals are all in there too. Uh, Final Fantasy 7, it is Greatest Hits, but it's the Square Soft, not the Square Enix. So, right here, you can still buy new copies of, like, Final Fantasy... Oh, this is 8, I'm sorry. 8 and, um, 7 made by Square Enix, which took over Square Soft. Finding the Square Soft ones is a little bit more collectible. Um, and I didn't make too much of a mistake, because 7 was sitting right here, so I do have 7 and 8. I actually just installed uh, 7 on my Xbox and started playing it again. I almost beat up Rufus. I didn't take my Materia back, so he beat me, so I gotta go do it again. So, three good Final Fantasies. We got a uh, Beyond the Beyond. I know we just got one of these in the other week, like two or three weeks ago. This one is a different one, I promise. Got in a copy of Legends of Dragoon. This one feels heavy. This is the one that I don't know is minty or not minty. This is the one that I didn't get to check out. But it's got the manuals. It's definitely heavy. The discs look good. So it's a good copy. Nothing wrong with this. Except for a little crack here on the top. But Legends of Dragoon. Evan, I might have a Final Fantasy VII blank case in the back. If you ask me when I get to the store, I've gotten a lot of things more organized. Um, so I should be able to quickly um, be able to look it up. Do you know what's weird is um, Legend of Dragoon was only... Oh, $54.99. I remember. Matthew. And then last but not least, I can't pronounce this per correctly. It is... Cool... Cool Delka? Cool Del Delka. Cool Delka. This is a rare. That's like super rare. I know somebody wants this. So, also minty. This one's like minty, minty. K O U D. Cool Delka. Cool Delka. Craig, you want it? Without even asking how much, I like it.
it's that rare. It's so rare you've never heard of it. It looks like a horror RPG. And I'll get this as close as I can to the camera and see if it zooms into it. Uh, that way. So, looks like horror-ish. Horror RPG. Move that side in there, too. I'm, it reflects off my computer screen. It's really hard. Um, looks great, to be honest with you. So, um, these, this stack of games literally came in, like, right near the end of the day, like, two hours before closing. What's the, what's it a precursor to? But that's a good one. I don't mind that you got it. I was hoping to have it in the case for a while. That show off that. And then when people walk in, they're like, wow, you've got that. Yeah, that's exactly what I got it priced at. I could have gone a little higher. I just didn't feel like being mean about it. I hit him and hauled over doing 300 or 350 right in that range, but I decided to do three on it. Uh, beyond the Beyond is... $64.99. I don't have Shadow Hearts. I wish I did. No Shadow Hearts. Oh, Shadow Hearts was the game that it was... Okay, you answered my question. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Alright, wait, I got your name on that one. On beyond the beyond. You know, I never did this stream thinking that people would be buying this stuff from it, but to be honest, this is amazing. Like, that's awesome. Just put this stuff off the side, put your name on it, and y'all can get it a lot faster. I have a few hundred Xbox 360 games at the store, Potato. Uh, it's 300, Craig. Yeah, you, uh, Vincent, I think, looked up the price real quick. He told, said it even be right in that $300 area, and I went, on the, I went on the low end. I only charged three for it. I literally could have charged a little bit more. Paid the guy a lot for it. It's the green one. It was Greatest Hits. It's the Square Soft Greatest Hits, but it's the Greatest Hits. I know people are always after that Black Label one for Final Fantasy VII. Um, I might have a case in the store um, if you have like all the games and whatnot. I went and looked. I even have an Alundra case in the back. I didn't even know I had until I went and looked today. Um, I have some high-end cases that have no games to it. Um, uh, Minecraft, I'm not sure if I have Minecraft in or not. Um, let me check my system and see if it's even an option. I can give you a maybe or a definite no. Maybe. My system shows one loose and one complete in box, and I haven't got to this section yet to clear it out, excuse me. So as I'm repricing the entire store, it's also going to allow me to tighten up the inventory in our system. It's gotten a little bit off. Um, so be able to look something up telling you, yes, I have it. Yes, I don't have it. It should become a lot easier once I get done pricing all these things. Um, $18.99 if I have it. Grandy is a nice one. That's a good one to get. Um, I am going to be at the store tomorrow. So... I'm actually going to package this stuff. I'm going to get to the store early tomorrow. I'll be there before open. Um, I left a mess on the counter. I don't want to leave it to the employees to pick up my mess behind me, though. They're actually paid to do it. But um, I want to get my stuff cleared up, and I need to get 350 Xbox games stickered. I tried to do it today. I only got about 20 done, and then we stayed busy all day. So, yeah, I'll be at the store tomorrow, more, probably all day, unless I get really tired of it. I also, um, I'll be coaching jujitsu at night, so I'll be out of the store at least by 5. Um, 
But yeah, I should be there most of the day. I'll grab lunch sometime or another. Where is the system of store stock checker? Evan, are you asking, like, is there a place that you can check my store's stock? Um, I don't have that available at this time. I thought about doing what Video Game Rescue was doing and putting a lot of those games for sale on Facebook, but it seems to be kind of a headache. Um, and I have yet to put my inventory online for sale. One, most of it would sell. All the good stuff would sell overnight. People would be able to find it. They find our website. They buy the games. I would no longer have them in the store to have that wow factor for the local community. And I really like having that. Um, so that's why things aren't able to be checked online for stock. Two-ish sounds good. And yeah, I'll see if I have that Final Fantasy case. Nice. Um, I enjoy the show, 21. I've been building my Diamond Dynasty for a little bit. I got, like, uh, I think four Diamond players on there. Um, and I played two ranked online matches, and I made both people quit. I'm not that good at it. They just were terrible at it. Yeah, I'd imagine to check in a lot. I'd imagine so. Yeah, so I can, so if I go into my system, I'll show you what I look at. So if I pull up my system, it has the inventory, but it's all, like, my point of sale system is based on here. You have to be able to log into it, um, and then you can see my inventory, summary of everything. We've got over 9,000 things in the store. Um, yeah. It's tedious. Um, there's, if you don't like... Separate it by category. Here's all your all your different video game systems, Japanese ones. I don't know what a microvision is. Anyone know what a microvision is? The Mattel Aquarius. Yeah, <laughs> tons of systems I've never even heard of. The Sega Pico. Wonder Swan Color. Never heard of a Wonder Swan. Anyone else? But yeah, that's more or less. Um, I don't have any way to have get this system up online for you guys to be able to look for it. I wish I did. I'll try to work on that, though. There's a way for me to check inventory. There's just not a way for you guys to check my inventory. Like, I absolutely can do that. But good news is, is I'm not super hungry because the store was so busy today that I didn't get to eat until I was on my way home. I finally ate my lunch. Um, but, yeah. I do have to run. Somebody called, and they need... They need a PS Vita adapter, so they lived in Middleburg as well as me, so I'm just going to meet them at the gas station and get them their stuff. So I didn't play any of those baseball games, the ESPN ones, 2K5. Um, I didn't play baseball games since, like, triple play on, like, what was that, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, and I loved the ones on Super Nintendo. I love Super Nintendo baseball games. I'll still play them to this day. Um, catch me at the store with some employees up there, man. I'll put one in and, and play with customer. Like, bring it. But um, those are all the games and stuff I had for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I brought enough awesome stuff to the table to keep you coming back week after week. Um, I'm seeing we got up to 17 viewers, so that's amazing. Um, I'll keep the good stuff coming. You guys keep the trades coming. I'll keep uh, paying good money for it. What high-end PS1s do you know offhand? Like, that I have? Uh, clear that up for me a little bit, Andrew. I think I've seen the Jackie Robinson version. That's for, uh, like high-end PS1 games. I mean, I'll be, besides the ones we showed in the store, I don't know if you came in late or in the show. Love you, Brookie. I'll see you later. Oh, so... This one that already got claimed, I have a hard time pronouncing it. Cool Delka. Uh, it's been spoken for. Uh, Legends of Dragoon. Uh, Beyond the Beyond, which also got spoken for. Uh, Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VIII. And Final Fantasy IX uh, came in today. 
And then you were up there the other day when I had. See, I'm repricing it all. So I know Dino Crisis is in there. There's a few other ones. God, I pulled them off the shelf today because I'm again repricing. I've got a uh, Namco Museum, the expensive one. Um, I mean, by all means, I don't know. If, uh, 37 sounds probably about right. Sounds average. Uh, what I would have paid for a steel book around this time. Um, but if you got, I'd keep the hat and the steel book together. I don't imagine it would like. It's not going to gain value. Most sports titles don't, unless you're NCAA 14, which is probably about to lose the bottom from underneath it. But um, yeah. I don't know if it does or not. I'll have to look. It might even be Dino Crisis 2. So, okay, hold on. Read that potato. It says you have some Wii games that read, but when you go to play, it thinks you took the disc out. Uh, we don't normally trade in for things that are broken, um, but if you want to bring them up, I have a great disc resurface. We can run it through it, see if it does it, see if I can get it fixed or give you some tips on it. Oh, the game itself, Tom, I do I do like it. Um, the pitching is a little complicated. It's not overly complicated, just it's just a little bit. Uh took me getting used to. I moved some stuff earlier. There we go. Sorry, I was trying to move my screen over earlier. And I actually grabbed part of just that and moved it. It probably looked a little bit funny for a while. Sorry about that. Mario Kart for the Wii, Family Game Night, and Mario Party 8. Yeah, see if she'll bring you up to the store. Again, let her know we got that pop figure you were, you were asking about. Um... And I'll run them through uh, the resurfacing machine. Uh, we do charge. It's it's two dollars a disc. Bring me three. I do three for five bucks. Um, and we'll see if we can't get them working. I've gotten some really crazy things that I'd never thought would work again. Working again. Sorry, hold on. My cat is trying to climb in my window. Come here, soccer shoes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you got the hat and the steel book. The only thing to a good deal, as long as you feel like you got a good deal, it's a good deal. That's all that matters. I unfortunately used to sell cars back in the day, and that's that's what we taught. Is as long as that customer's walking out feeling like they got a good deal, they got a good deal. Uh no, it won't fix fix this broken halfway through it. Um the first thing I would try if I had a disc that was cracked halfway through, I'd put a piece of scotch tape over the entire crack. I know that sounds stupid, um, but if it holds the disc together, um, scotch tape is clear enough that the laser will still uh, bounce the information back through it, uh, and it might hold your disc with that crack just enough. For, it'll probably jitter at it. Um, if it's going to play it and work, it'll jitter and then go through, but that's that's literally best suggestion I got for a crack. Normally the disc machine just gets scratches out of it, uses compound, buffs it, fills the fills the scratches with compound, so the information gets shot back to the laser, read by the console, and you get to go on playing. So, all right, guys, it was amazing stream tonight. You guys were fantastic in the chat. Um, I'm gonna get off of here and figure out what I'm going to do the rest of my night before I get the stuff up at the store tomorrow. So I'll be up there early. So if y'all want to come see me, I will have the stuff up at the store when it opens. Um, I'm missing chat. How am I missing chat? That's so weird. My chat just got messed up, guys. Like, it's coming through. Later, Craig. It's coming through on my right side. On the bottom or the top with the label? Uh, 
Oh, this uh, this is a Pandora box. Um, it was traded in the store. It's got like 1,500 ROMs on it. I don't sell ROMs in the store, so I just took it home. It's got a bunch of arcade games on it. Um, you can buy them on Amazon. They're actually not even crazy expensive. Amazon.com. So, it's the last thing I'm going to show before I get off here. Uh, so, Pandora Box. You can buy them. That actually looks just very close to the one I've got. Um, but this one's got... Oh no, 1,028. Nope, that's 1080p games. I might have 2,706 games. But either way, it's a couple thousand games. These things are 100 bucks. It is what it is. It's the only way I can play The Simpsons. So, Simpsons arcade game. Played that one with the wife. Didn't play too many games, but that one she did. So, awesome. Great stream, guys. I appreciate everyone coming out, and I hope it is this fire next week. That's awesome. That's a, that's a good find. I saw a $1,000 Monopoly set coming out soon. Like, I have to buy it for like five or $600 if I want to get it, but I don't know. It's a crazy-looking Monopoly set. So, um, But you guys have a good night. Thank you all so much for coming out, and I'll see most of you guys throughout the week. Appreciate it, potato.